Hello to everybody at Google. I am really happy to be here, and what I'm going to talk about today is a new initiative called Born Worthy. I am here today to acknowledge and represent the African American girls whose stories don't make the front page of every national newspaper. Seeing how many difficulties women and girls face in our society and how we can find against those challenges. What, what is still the biggest challenge is the wage equality. 69% of young women aged 11 to 21 feel they are not good enough. And what that continues to tell us is that girls are vulnerable and clearly they need protection from this, but the other thing that they need in all of these realms is to be prepared for what's going to happen and to have hopefully a different way of approaching it and more support from all the adults around. Because I think what a lot of people hope is that it won't happen to my daughter. And that clearly is not enough. It's clearly not enough because it keeps asking about is how do we take all of these facts, some of which are pretty disturbing, how do we, how do we change that? Planning to do it is to come together in community to prepare girls for the 21st century. Because some of these things, if you've lived long enough, we keep hearing about them, you know, every 10 years, every 20 years, it sort of comes back around. I think the most important thing that we need to do is to counteract the conscious and unconscious forces that make our girls feel unsafe, insecure, and not good enough. Born Worthy is our solution, and we are a not-for-profit organization dedicated to preparing girls to successfully navigate the world as they transition to womanhood. You know, last weekend was amazing, watching um, these two young women, Emma Gonzalez and, and Naomi Wadler, uh, during the, uh, the Children's March Against Guns. Those girls were doing something. Nobody cared about what they looked like. What they cared about is what they were saying and what they were doing, and also they were demonstrating how much power you can have when you speak up and speak out. Men. There's a role for men in this, as fathers, as grandfathers, as brothers, to really help girls appreciate who they are and what they are and why they appreciate them. And There's, everyone's going to be given a chance to share stories and experiences that ground girls in their self-worth. Girls are going to be given tools so that they can use their power in relationships and in all kinds of circumstances. And I think most importantly, they're going to be listened to in terms of what their concerns are what their ambitions and hopes are. I think it's 41% of women who, who work in, in STEM jobs end up leaving them very early. And from any of the conversations that people have had with them, it's often because they can't see a whole life. They can't see a whole life. They can see working really hard, and they like to work, but they also want to you know, have a full life. Maybe they want to they have a family, or they want to do, they want to be involved in politics. There are different things that they want to do, and how do you do that all together? And there isn't a lot of information about that, and yet we all know women who have done it. So we need to start spreading, spreading that knowledge around and that information. How do we help girls create a ritual of appreciating themselves, as opposed to running themselves down or doubting themselves? And I see an opportunity to create different kinds of social media feeds, because that's one of the things that a lot of parents are alarmed about is what are their girls looking at on social media? Why can't we create something where girls can look at things that make them feel great about themselves as opposed to make them feel bad about themselves? And I think we are all capable of doing something like that. We just sort of need to think it through and also talk to the girls about what would make them feel great. And doing Born Worthy is going to you know, put, put folks on notice about girls being great as they are and to be encouraged to speak and be themselves and talk about what they care about. So that's what we're going to be doing. I am, I am really grateful for your time and would happily take any questions.